Hello everybody, it's me, the Italian Gamer Joe, and welcome to another stream. Tonight, we are starting a brand new Nancy Drew mystery. The mystery we're solving tonight, and for the next foreseeable future, is the final scene. I am so excited to be able to do this, so let's get started. Um, before we jump in, though, I'm going to go ahead and share my stream. So sit tight while I get my link shared. I hope that everybody's having a fantastic evening. Sweet. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and share that. So just sit tight for a moment while I get sharing. Fight the power. <laughs> uh, Nick. Oh, I didn't add everyone. Oops. Actually, you know what? Let me save that. Nope. Copy text. And then add everyone. All right, let's do this. All right, so um, hello everybody, it's me, the Italian Gamer Joe. Once again, once again, welcome to another one of my adventure game streams. Tonight we are going to be playing Nancy Drew: The Final Scene. I am so excited to be playing Nancy Drew: The Final Scene tonight. This is going to be a great mystery. I this is a great mystery. It's a great adventure. It's a kidnapping mystery. So there's a whole like twist going on. It is going to be so much fun. I cannot wait to start playing it. I got my white chocolate mocha from Starbucks. And if you redeem a hydrate, I also got my not sponsored ice mountain water. <laughs> uh, but yeah, how about everybody in the chat tonight? Uh, let's have some fun and let's play some Nancy Drew. All right, we're going to start a new game. Oh, wow. Nancy doesn't talk at this one. She just kind of like says, welcome. <laughs> welcome. We're going to do Junior Detective because that's what we are. Dear Bess, remember Maya Wynn from high school? I'm visiting her in St. Louis. We have tickets to tonight's premiere of the new Brady Armstrong movie, Vanishing Destiny. It's the last screening ever at the Royal Palladium. This place has been a landmark for almost a century. And now, in just three days, it's going to be demolished. I wish I could have seen the theater back in the 20s before it was turned into a movie house. All the great magicians performed here, even Harry Houdini. There's a lot of public opposition to the loss of this historic building. Rumor has that local activists are planning to stage a big protest <laughs> like... out front tonight. The theater will be closed when we arrive, but they'll let us in since Maya is covering the story for the university newspaper. Oh boy, a press pass sure does come in handy. Maya told me she has an interesting lead, and we're on our way to interview Brady Armstrong about the controversy now. I know he's one of your favorite stars. Stay tuned. Maya always gets the full scoop. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. All right. Well, here's where the game starts. Day one, the Royal Palladium Theater. Theater. There's Maya. Okay, Nancy. Here I go. The candy girl. Cross <laughs> Fight your the power. Fingers, there's a yeah. story behind this door. Go oh, there's a big story, all right. Meet you in the lobby. Testing. <laughs> testing. Oh my one, God. two, three. Testing. I can't Is wait. Is this thing on? Hello. <laughs> Think I'll go check out the snacks. <laughs> That'll be my other quote. I think I'll go check that out the sounds snacks. sounds like Maya. Help! Nancy! That sounds like Maya. All right, let's go to the men's dressing room. What the hell? Hello? Listen carefully. If they knock the theater down, a girl goes with it. What? Who is this? Um. Hello? Hello? Um, excuse me, but I'm, I'm Nancy Drew, and you're messing with the wrong detective. 
<laughs> bring back my Maya right now, or I swear to God, I will solve this mystery. <laughs> you are messing with the wrong woman. <laughs> I swear it's him, isn't it? It's him again. Never get away with this. Do you hear me? Excuse me. <laughs> You're crazy. Maya's got nothing to do with this demolition. Um, this is Joseph Hughes, the caretaker. I'm looking for Brady Armstrong. He said he'd be there. Who's this? And what's all the excitement? My friend has disappeared from Brady's dressing room. Um, excuse I heard her me, scream. but I think she's been kidnapped. Now, now, please try to calm down and tell me what's going on. What's your name, dear? My name is Nancy Drew. Notice though the first my call was in the woman's friend, dressing room and, and now it got switched to the projection the room. When I heard her scream. I don't know how they could have taken her. So disappeared from the men's dressing room. What makes you think she was taken? Um, she screamed? I just received a threatening <laughs> call saying if I don't stop the theater demolition, I'll never see her again. Whoa. They must have taken her through that secret passageway. Holy smokes. And you're on an inside line. That call must have come from inside the building. We gotta act quick. You check out the secret passageway. I'll make sure all the exits are locked, and then I'll come find you. I like how he just hangs up. Hey, you. No groupies in the dressing rooms. Where did but you since come you're from? Such a rascally fan. What would you say to a signed autograph from yours truly? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not here for an autograph. My You're such an observant kidnapped. <laughs> kidnapped? Maybe you better tell me what's going on here. Um, maybe we can seduce you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I heard Maya scream when I got here. She was gone. Vanished. I heard Maya scream. When I got here, she was gone. Vanished. And then I got a creepy phone call from the kidnapper. I got a creepy phone her? call from what Starbucks. They, they never call me. Um, um... I think they escaped through the secret passageway. I think they escaped through a secret passageway. I'm going to have to search this room. Sure thing. How can I help? You can stay there and look pretty for me. <laughs> I'm very single. <laughs> okay. Uh, the caretaker was looking for you. I'm very single besides Ned, but I'm very single today. <laughs> she may still be in the building. We've got to search this place from top to bottom. Roger. <laughs> I love the music in this game, by the way. The name of this song is called Sleuth. It's a great song. I listen to this song all the time. He took the clam, the claim of the passage very well. The claim of the secret passage, right? <laughs> and this is his dressing room. Like, you'd think he'd be creeped out, but nope. Nope. How's it going, Liquid Bishop? How's your night going? Ooh, there's a little, like, magician's wand. Abracadabra. Alright, what else can we find in here? This game, by the way, has some incredible Nancy Drew quotes. And we're about to hear one very soon. Uh, we're about to hear one in the next, like, five seconds. Well, maybe a little more than that, but... Okay, so this lever, I believe, opens up the secret passageway. It's locked. That's a that's a that, that's a quote I can promise is also very iconic. It's locked. All right, let's go. Let's look to look past this very innocuous looking pile of like hung up clothes. <laughs> well, here we are in the secret passageway. Let's make our way down here. Wow, imagine like look think about this. I gotta put you on hold. Yeah, I gotta put you on hold. Someone just climbed out of my wardrobe. <laughs> The snake was here. The snake. And then K loves tea. That's what that means. Like tea isn't gossip. K loves the tea. All right. Is there anything else over here? Oh my God. This is it. This is it. This is the iconic moment. We're inside a closet right now. And if you open the door, this is the iconic line. I may have to cut this short, Hal. Someone just climbed out of my wardrobe. <laughs> Can't you see I'm on the phone here? <laughs> I have to cut this short, Hal. Someone just climbed out of my wardrobe. <laughs> it's literally just an alleyway, graffiti and everything. I know, right? Um... <laughs> my friend's been kidnapped! Listen, sweetheart, I have a premiere tonight and no stylist for my star. So don't tell me about problems. But this is <laughs> this an emergency! I said, scram! <laughs> my other favorite quote is when Nancy tells her, 
I think your phone's about to ring. <laughs> I think your phone's about to ring. I love Nancy gets so sassy. This calls priority. Try me later. Yeah, I, I, her name, what's her name again? Hi, Mitra. You missed the kidnapping. You missed, uh, you missed Maya getting kidnapped. And you missed the best line in the game. <laughs> we'll have to put this on hold, Hal. Someone just climbed out of my wardrobe. Nancy, though, she hasn't said the other line yet. Simone, yeah. Simone. <sighs> I love this Nancy Drew game. It's so, like, here's her interactive logo. Is there anything else over here? I don't think there is. I think that's just like a, a thing they did. <laughs> this place is definitely, I can see why it's getting torn down. I mean, it's decrepit. Um, It has like a charm to it, though, I feel like. We turn the lights off on Simone. <laughs> Bitch. Just kidding. All right. All actors, please wear shoes on at all times. We have to mess with that box, but I don't remember what to, how to do that. Um, saloon. All right, let's see. Um, I think it involves doing this. Yeah, exactly. So you'll hear like a clunk noise, and the clunk noise is behind us. And if you go over here, uh, yeah, Nancy, you know she's a stage set. She's a, she's a, she's like a what? What do they call it when you're in theater and you're behind the scenes? You're um, she's crew. Nancy is now an official member of the crew. We're not gonna find Maya. We're just gonna be part of the crew now. <laughs> okay. By the way, if you don't do that tight enough, the box can fall on Nancy and she'll die. <laughs> well, I don't think we were supposed to find this passageway as early as we did, but we found it. So this is the basement of the theater. And as you can see, there's some stuff down here. Um, fun fact, the voice of Maya is now the wife of one of the developers. Oh, that is so cool. I didn't know that. Stagehand. Is that what it is? Then she's the stagehand now. <sighs> Prickly Fox Bear. It's almost like they're clocking Nancy in random ways. Oh, Prickly. If only you knew, Prickly. If only you knew. All you Nancy Drew fans out there in the chat, please um, educate Prickly Fox Bear and maybe give him um, a few of the ways that Nancy's almost been killed throughout the Nancy Drew games. Just just start rolling down in the chat right now all the ways Nancy's almost died. <laughs> She's died so she's almost died in so many ways. I mean someone tried burying her alive Someone tried setting her on fire someone tried like, you know You can die by getting squashed by an elevator. There's another one you can get squashed by an elevator a giant box can kill you I would love to see a blooper reel of all of Nancy's deaths. I'm sure it's out there. I'm sure it's out there. Um, there's even like really stupid ways. Like if you have Nancy eat too much ice cream, she'll get a stomach ache and die. Uh, rotten floorboards. Uh, in the previous game I played, if you give Nancy rotten mayonnaise, she'll like get sick and die from not die, but she'll get really sick from the mayonnaise and get called off the case. Um, th yeah, things can fall on her. She can get like really, <laughs> it's really intense the way that Nancy can get killed in these games or get sick. I mean, it's, it's so random. <laughs> uh, it's, it's so, so random. So here we are at the lobby of the theater, and our friend Maya's been kidnapped. We saw her get, we didn't see her get kidnapped, but we know she's gone. But clearly she can't possibly eat too much clam chowder, right? Fr right, Prickly? I know, exactly. She, she could do all these things, but there's never, there's always a good time for clam chowder. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. By the way, I haven't had a bowl of clam chowder yet. I'm gonna have to make myself some clam chowder soon, or do something. This is a very character. This is a character that I simp for. No teeny boppers till <laughs> showtime. House rules. Back in the day, I simped. I simped for Nicholas Falcone. Bring back my clam chowder, or see why kids love the taste of cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? We, we gotta find Maya. Have you seen my friend Maya? Also, she's 19, five, If you're not busy, hair. Nicholas, she here's has my on number. Running shoes, <laughs> jeans, and a black shirt with butterflies on it. And the crisis is 
I like how Nancy knows exactly. She's got a black shirt with butterflies on it. She's 5'9". Her shoe size is 12. Or she's all these things. Her blood type is B. Just got a C for the movie theater popcorn. <laughs> Um, she went into Brady Armstrong's dressing room <laughs> I was like, What's a and C? disappeared. Good old Charmstrong. Why are women always losing themselves over him? Well, Nicholas, I'm losing myself over you. Uh, who are you? Who are you? His surely understudy. <laughs> who are you? His surly understudy. You changed your nickname to what? Hollywood, Nicholas's boyfriend? The fantastic plastic <laughs> I mean, girlfriend. Vacuum? I wouldn't go there in a pig's suitcase. I'm Nicholas Falcone, <laughs> solemnly sworn to lead the forces of Hadit Had and slay the dragon of corporate generica. Who are you? And what's with the doom and gloom? Well, well, chicken soup, Brady. I know, right? Oh, that's a good one. I like that. Um. Uh, I'm Nancy, <laughs> but I think I missed something. Generica? Generica? Haven't you heard? The battle is on. There's a human chain forming out front as we speak. But all that can wait. It's obvious you got a situation. So what's up? Well, well, are you are you free and are you single? <laughs> uh, my friend's been kidnapped. I've got to alert the police in a certain situation. It's a delicate word for a kidnapping. Situation? Well, that's a delicate <laughs> word for a kidnapping. Whew. Kidnapping? <laughs> that's a high-profile tactic. Somebody means business. So what's the demands? <laughs> Meet Rod Corporate Generica. The phone call was awful. They want the demolition stopped. Um, Don't you mean let's see, what, what are, the demands? are the demands? Who are you? What are your demands, teacher? Nicholas? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> uh, sometimes I just can't control Whoops. myself. Sometimes I just can't <laughs> control myself. So what's the demands? Um... The phone call was well. Awful. They want the demolition well. stopped. No kidding. <laughs> That'll blast those bureaucrats and corporate bigwigs out of their dream world. Applause for the cause. We need all the help we can get. Excuse me, Excuse but me? this is We're my friend's about life, a girl's here. life here. I'm sorry. I know you're upset, but they won't mess with your friend. They just took her for effect. It's called making a statement. You know what else is making a statement, Nicholas? Taking me out of date. <laughs> Oh, so this is just oh, a I'm pretend so kidnapping. <laughs> I never would have guessed. Maya's scream sounded so real. She'll be okay. Trust me. Um. Well, we want to find her. I'd rather that she, you know, tell me she's okay first. I'm not about to. Nancy take was that like chance. so sassy. If you need a phone. Back there's the an day. outside line in the ticket booth. Nancy, what's the four one one? The four one one. The four one one. That that that. What's a date on this That's game? That's vintage slang. <laughs> You know, the 411, the deal, the lowdown. Just go into work tomorrow in a meeting and just be like, all right, what's the 411? <laughs> oh, man. So, humans against the destruction of illustrious Tell me the 411. Theaters. Tell me about it. This theater's I know. a spotted owl. It's a humpback whale. It's endangered. Illustrious buildings testify to our finest human hours. They should be celebrated, not bulldozed to make way for cardboard mega Well, boxes. Nicholas, here's a Need plunger. Do you know what they plan to <laughs> Go build plunge on the this sink. spot after the theater is gone? <laughs> oh, it's very hush, hush. The name of the building firm is Wave of the Future, and the owner is some B. Thompson, descendant of J.J. Thompson. What? But he's never available Is this a DDI comment. reference? Fishy, right? Ten bucks says B stands for baloney. Catch you later. B Fight stands for something very naughty. If you if if you know if you if you ask me something very naughty, Nicholas. If you if you catch my drift. <laughs> oh man, seven for Nicholas over here. All right, well let's go call nine one one and talk to this officer. All right, <laughs> the only time it's okay to call nine one one in a video game. <laughs> St. Louis Police Department. I'm calling to report a kidnapping. Is the kidnapping in progress? No. Hold on, miss. I'll transfer you to the missing persons unit. Missing Damn. persons, Sergeant Mac Ramsey speaking. I'm calling to report a kidnapping. No longer in no progress. No longer in progress. And who am I speaking with, please? Wouldn't it technically be Nancy in progress Drew. because okay, Ms. Drew. the kidnapping now, is still happening? No, like, she's still gone? It. What exactly did you hear? My friend went into a dressing room. I was out in the hall. <laughs> and I heard her scream, so I went in after her, but she was gone. When and where did this happen? Just now, at, at the, the Royal Palladium, Palladium Theater. Theater. And what's your friend's name, Miss Drew? Maya Wynn. When I first it? pronounced it, it was Nugent. I'm like, it's Nugent. Last name, <laughs> N-G-U-Y-E-N. Age? 19. Physical description? 
She's Asian-American. I guess about 5'5", five, five, long black hair. So you didn't actually witness anything, is that right? I heard her screaming. Officer, I received a just get call. a squad car it here, please. Uh, so we can just, you know, talk you about this in person. Voice. Just do something. Or a woman? <laughs> it was spooky. <laughs> I think they were using some voice disguise device. Hmm, yes. That'll make it impossible to tell the gender <laughs> like, of the mm, yes. Did you notice anything suspicious looking in the vicinity? Yes. No. No yes. Yes. Any visible signs of struggle in the dressing room? Did your friend leave anything behind? Her purse? Anything that Nothing. Might have no evidence pocket? at all. No. No evidence? Does your friend work at the theater? No, she's a student at Washington University. Does your friend have any enemies? Maya? She's I describing almost doubted. any East Asian what person. What did Maya have entering the theater dressing room? She's a reporter for the school paper. She was there to do an interview. What about Maya's parents? Have they been contacted? They're in Vietnam this time of year. Oh, I don't know how to contact them. <laughs> okay. This is like the most well, inconvenient kidnapping to happen right now. Like Maya done. is just completely like... To investigate. How can she turn up? She's been kidnapped. <laughs> Unlikely. With all the She'll be calling this back. Demolition, this stinks of student prank. A prank? But this building is going to be demolished in 72 hours. How can we afford to take that chance? How do you mean? The kidnapper must be holding her in the building, don't you think? Unlikely. No competent kidnapper keeps her captive anywhere near the scene of the abduction. Is there anything else, God. Miss Drew? <laughs> Sergeant, I really the cop don't is like getting really like annoyed. 24 hours. <laughs> it's standard procedure, Miss Drew. <laughs> Unless you can provide us with some By the way, if you keep watching, port, this game gets darker hours. and darker Thanks, Sergeant. the more I'll time that goes on, like day two, day three. You do that. Like, Bye. it gets dark. Um, alright. Well, we're not gonna call anyone because we just talked to the officer for like two hours. Um, alright. Well, let's go. Now that we did that, let's go talk to Nick again. Can't talk long. Gotta check on my people. I'll give you the 411. What's your attachment to saving this theater? You seem so personally invested. Politics is Or should personal, I say 6 But with nine. this place, it's <laughs> ultra personal. My grandma, Louisa Falcone, designed the molds for all the insane plaster work that you see in this lobby and in the auditorium. Oh wow, I didn't know that. His grandmother designed the plaster work for the theater. I didn't know that. Wow, I can see why you would I did not know that destroyed. Nicholas Falcone's family After helped all, design the theater. So that gives him true, a motive true. for kidnapping Maya. I guess the architect owner guy, JJ Thompson, ran out of cash before the building was done. He never paid my grandma dime one, and then he denied that she had ever done the work in the first place. Oh, that's a dick move. <laughs> oh, that work that you did? You, you didn't do it. Somebody else did. I, I had somebody else. It's like, um, I was there. I'm standing right here. I'm holding the plaster. If only the Hardy Boys were there. Didn't she fight it? Yeah, she was the artist type, not a deal maker. I guess she'd never signed any contractual stuff with JJ. And she didn't have the resources to sue him or any of that. So I guess she just had to let it go. This reminds me of the show Archer, where Mallory is like, Did you get a receipt? Did you get a receipt? <laughs> Looks like she should have gotten a receipt. Um, she must have been so frustrated. I wonder, yeah, I wonder why, would... why Thompson would cheat her like That's that. That's like Nancy asking. Here's I wonder why people are dicks. After JJ sharked her on this two-year project, she was broke. And then the Great Depression hit. She could never afford to work as an artist again. What did she do yeah, what instead? what did she do? Louisa, Mother Serenity, Falcone. Ah, she just kept on trucking in true Falcone style. Died Aww. at 97 without a bitter bone in her body. I think she had a happy life. But this theater holds the last artwork she ever did. Don't you see, Nancy? Saving this place is not just for history. It's for justice. Wow. Um, can't you get some justice now? She should at least get, get credit, credit for her work. Yeah. My family has been trying for years, but there doesn't seem to be anything on record that links her to this place. Nancy, could you do me a favor? Oh, I'll do any favor for you, Nicholas. <laughs> Maybe there's something buried in Maybe the theater. Maybe there's something buried in the theater. <laughs> While you're searching, could you just keep your eye out? Oh, I'll keep my eye out. Maya's my first priority, as you can imagine. Absolutely. But if there's any way I can help <laughs> set the record straight on this beautiful artwork, I will. You're cooler than I thought, Nancy. Oh, let me show you how cool I can be. <laughs> I try to play it down. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, this is out of service. We can't use it yet. 
Um, I also like Nancy's other wine. I think I'll go check out the snacks. All right, I can't use the arrow keys, so let's see. I think we have to go this way and then go down. I know it's jazz. It's big. It's a uh, um, what's it called? Big, big, big jazz or something like that. Big something. I think I screwed it up. Yeah, I screwed it up. This music slaps. The song reminds me of uh, Sing Sing Sing. I think I screwed it up again. Yeah, it's swing. Yeah, it's swing. Did I screw it up? Wait. No, I didn't. It's a great song. Yeah, it's a great song. I love it. Oh, I want to hear it so bad now. <laughs> All right, we did it. And we got this cool little trinket. You know, I miss when the Nancy Drew song games had like their like, oh, you solve the puzzle theme. They got it. They got rid of it. But I like that. I like their little like solve the puzzle music. They need to do that for future ones. Like bring back like the oh you solved the puzzle song. I, I really miss that. All right, so here we are in the actual theater, the theater, and um, there's something we need. You know, if any one of you just want to, like, go to a movie theater in real life and just stand in the middle of it and, like, just look at it. <laughs> if you ever had that dream, you can do that in Nancy Drew, the final scene. <laughs> you can just stand in front of this theater. <laughs> and just, you know, just take it all in. Take every last bit of it in. I love the soundtrack for this game. Oh, it's a great soundtrack. It's fantastic. Um... I love the way this theater looks, by the way. They did a fantastic job designing the theater itself and making it look so cool. And then here's the screen. But yeah, no, it's really, it's really awesome. This looks like the theater in Meekred. What's Meekred? Oh, like, is it a theater in California? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to find something in these seats. And I don't remember which seat it is, but we have to find something. Oh, we found it. We found it. We found it. <laughs> we found it, and we took the gum off the seat. Merced. Oh, okay. I, sp I mispronounced it. I'm sorry. Okay, so now that we got the gum we need, we're going to have to use that chewing gum that someone chewed, and we're going to have to go upstairs with it. All right, Prickly Fox Bear, I don't know if you're still watching, but I'm about to show you... I'm about to show you the other way Nancy can die. <laughs> this is an iconic Nancy Drew death, by the way. Like, okay. I can't quite. This is another reach. iconic Nancy Drew death. <laughs> Nancy, what the hell? <laughs> I'm gonna do. We're gonna do another instant replay. <laughs> Nancy, like, what are you doing? Like that? Like, I just watch. Can't like, quite. It's, Reach. Instant replay. <laughs> oh man, Nancy, what are you doing, Nancy? <laughs> it's, an, it's a very funny death scene. It's pretty intense too. She just falls forward. All right, one more time. One more time. I just, just for the laughs. Quite reach. Encore. Encore. <laughs> and it sounds like she never stopped falling. It sounds like she's still falling. All right. Sounds like they should do like the Benny Hill theme with Nancy falling off the theater balcony. This one's missing. I think it's supposed to be this. This one's missing. Wait, it's not this one. This one's missing. This one's missing. This one's missing. All right, let's go talk to Joe. We haven't talked to Joe yet. Oh, me? Why? No, no, not that Joe. This Joe. Oh, I have a funny thing I want to say to you all. So when I first played this Nancy Drew game, I would go up and down these theater steps. Like I would go up and I'd go through and I would, you know, I would, you know, go up through these theater steps all the time. And I'm, I'd be like, where the hell's Joe? Like, where's the other guy that works here? I had no idea, no idea that you could turn to the right here and there's a door. 
I did not know there's a door here. Never. I never knew. It took me forever to find him too. I never knew there was a door there. I think it took me like an hour to figure that out. Like, I'm like, where the hell is Joe? Yeah, turns out he was here the whole time. Because the way the hotspot is set up is that it's very, like, awkward. You can go this way or you can go this way, but there's it, it just looks like part of the wall. So when you, and then there's no there's no hot spot here. So like and when you I, I don't know it was just it was really awkward for me. And growing up, I never found Joe, <laughs> the moose next door. <laughs> I love these new movie names, the ru the runcible, navel gazing. <laughs> Some great movie names. Wait, is Joe not in here? Did we miss Joe? Oh, no, there's Joe. Don't what? touch that projector, dear. It's a temperamental <laughs> old beast. All right, let's look around in here first, though, before we talk to Joe. Let's just see if there's anything we can do in here. I found a little, like, thing. Clayton, projector, care, and operation. I don't think we really have to know about that at all. I watched my mom. There was a key here. <laughs> like, there was a key here. There was a key here. Very sus. Very sus. I love the book animation that plays when she's opening it. Like, it just sounds so wholesome. Like, it's like, it could, to Nancy Drew sound effects could totally be ASMR. <laughs> I, I could totally see it. <laughs> That's called a slide. Oh, it's a slide. Oh, my bad. Thank you. I got some kind of, like, light bulb thing. I don't know what it's for, but. We got a light bulb. <laughs> the Among Us theme plays? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, Joe. You must be Nancy. The worry's written all over your face. Well, I'm Joe. I started to look for you, but then I figured better to park myself and let you find me. Any trace of your friend? <laughs> I found the secret Well, it only took three right, days to find no you, Hi Vice. Of Maya. I can't believe this is happening. Well, what about calling the police? There's an outside line in the ticket booth. Oh, we called. We we absolutely called. Thanks. But oh I my god, I almost spilled my water that. all over my desk. Standard procedure says I'm on my own for the next 24 hours. Standard procedure? Yeah, standard procedure. And I'm trying to flirt with Nick, Alyssa Falcone, but he, um, yeah. They it's not, seem to think I don't think it it's going anywhere. Prank. But this theater's going to be such torn a nice down in three man. days. Did you tell him that? I told him everything. To everything, to Joe. the police that this is a real emergency. Well, I checked all the outside doors, and, and they're locked up tight. Only folks who've been in the theater all day are Brady and Simone, you and Maya, and Nicholas Falcone, and myself. You're suggesting it must be Very one of these sus. people? Well, I've only got this one pair of eyes, so I can't say 100%. Did you notice anything suspicious? Well, I was up here in the projector room, sound testing for the premiere. But I'd be disappointed in your detective work if you didn't put me through the ringer like a regular suspect. Damn, he be yeah. he be incriminating I think himself. I hearing you practicing your MC voice now that you mention it. I reckon if the kidnapper wants the demolition stopped, they must be keeping Maya somewhere in the building. Did I mention what the <laughs> kidnapper said? Oh, I think so. Or maybe Brady told me when I saw him in the hall. He seems eager to help. He does seem eager to help, doesn't he? Well, anyway, I agree. She's got to be somewhere Very in the building, sus. and I plan to find evidence to prove it. That's the spirit. He now. He's on drugs. What's your plan of attack? <laughs> he probably is. <laughs> Operation Busted Kidnapper <laughs> is about to begin. Where can I get an insider's guide to all of the secret passages in this place? Try calling County Administration. The Records Division oh my gosh. keeps that I didn't know stuff. Enough. There's a lot of fun. I bet calls. a blueprint would show secret passages that even I've never found. Ask for the original plans, not the ones from the 56 remodel. What was the 56 <laughs> remodel all about? J.J. Thompson, the original owner, died in 1950. His kids inherited it and decided that movie theaters were the wave of the future. Anyway, I spent the last 40 something years. Oh, it years got converted into a movie place, theater. So let me know if I can help. Thanks, Joseph. Don't let the turkeys get you down. I love that. Don't let the turkeys get you down. <laughs> You know, I never... Okay, that makes more sense to me now. That it was originally just a regular theater with no screen, and then they got converted in 56 into a movie theater. Okay, that makes way more sense to me now. Don't touch that projector, dear. It's a temperamental old beast. Okay, I guess we can't do that yet, then. Um, Don't let the turkeys get you down. He has such hilarious, like, things that he says. I love it. I love it! Uh, Nick, Nick is gone. Can we go buy his stuff? 
All right, let's see. Humans Against the Destruction of Illustrious Theaters was founded in St. Louis in 1997 to rally public attention for the cause of preserving unique historic theaters throughout the nation. As of today, Hadit has been instrumental in saving 133 theaters and the organization boasts 37 chapters nationwide. But even as the movement coordinates to expand, the need for greater public participation has never been greater. Everyday theaters that have been served for generations of audiences are being bulldozed to make way for gigantic megaplexes and shopping malls. Steal his banana. Yes, do it. Oh, we are going to be stealing his banana, all right. If you'd like to find out about Hadit, become a member and make something donations to the cause, please contact me. Let's let's take his number down and call him. <laughs> we will call him. Oh, I want his banana. Look up. I wonder if that he's got a big banana. Nicholas has got a big banana. It is huge. <laughs> that is one big big banana. <laughs> Meat rock. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need the, another bonk in the chat. I mean, look, come on, look, look at that big banana. I'm suddenly very hungry. Okay, um, let's go over here. Um, let's go see if Simone wants to talk to us yet. Because <laughs> is there another? Is this another Andy? I know, right? We got big bicep Andy and big banana Nick. <laughs> we just got all these great suspects that we're flirting with. I mean, this is Nancy Drew. You got to flirt with the suspects, you know? <laughs> all right, let's go to the woman's dressing room. Leave it to Nancy to, to open a door and then close it on herself. Like, this, that's, that's another Nancy Drewism. Okay, Simone, talk to Nancy us. Nancy Drew, Simone Mueller. Don't worry, Vanishing Destiny is off. We've got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> okay. So you heard about Maya? Of course. A, a, I mean, a, a kidnapping? I know, I should. Right out of my star's dressing room? The premiere is small potatoes. It's worth more to us canceled or at least postponed. When the news gets out, the whole nation will be watching. I don't think we should get the press into this before the police have had a chance to investigate. <laughs> Where are you from? River Heights. <laughs> Why? Yes, precisely. <laughs> River Heights. Throwing shade. I'm from L.A. This ain't my first time at the rodeo. I should. You'll find I your should. Friend, or Brady Armstrong will. And when he does, every girl in America will wish she'd been kidnapped instead of Maya. What's her name? <laughs> like that's like Earth to Simone. This is not a movie. I can't believe you know a girl wants to be kidnapped ever. <laughs> The theater's going to be demolished. This theater is going to be Joey demolished Drew. in three days. Exactly. Brady can help search if he wants, but I'm not going to sit back and wait for him to save the day. Honey, you've got spunk. <laughs> Ever consider acting? This girl power thing I got is the far red one, hot huh? right Look now. At her phone. Of course, we'd have to think of a stage name. Nancy Drew is so utterly forgettable. I love this line, by the way. I think your phone's about to ring. I think your phone's about to ring. Ciao. <laughs> um, your stage name? Fancy I'm Jackson. Samantha Quick. You love it, right? Oh my God! And they reference Samantha Quick. Oh my God! That is so funny. I didn't know they referenced Samantha Quick in this game. Okay. I'm taking a picture of this because that's iconic. Because Samantha Quick doesn't appear until like much later on. This is the first mention of SQ. Yeah, that is so funny. Joseph says I didn't the building even was probably locked when the kidnapping happened, and that the kidnapper had to be someone who was inside the theater. Care to comment? Why don't you tell that little gray <laughs> troll that I think he did it, just to keep himself from dying of boredom in this old dump? That's my comment. <laughs> I'm asking everyone, I like Simone, though. She's where funny. were you when the kidnapping happened? Oh, please, so Nancy. Sassy. I was on the phone doing business. But if I'm ever hard-pressed for entertainment, I'm sure kidnapping would be a real hoot. I think your phone's about to ring. Bye now. <laughs> I think your phone's about to ring. I love that line. I love it. I love that line. Nancy is so sassy. This is the, some of the sassiest I've ever seen her in the games. <laughs> I think your phone's about to ring. Oh my god. Say that to someone you know. <laughs> and you say bye to them. I think your phone's about to ring. Beep. <laughs> or just in real life. <laughs> Hello. 
Ladies and gentlemen. All right, step here right we are. Up. <laughs> what do we do? Ladies it wasn't and working. <laughs> we broke it. Right up. <laughs> oh, there we go. The ace of spades. Keep your eye on the card. Is it random or is there a way to break it? Don't you have to break it or something? Ooh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's Perhaps random. You need your eyes checked. <laughs> the hand is quicker than the eye. All right, let's play again. Find the ace of spades. Keep your eye on the card. Damn it! <laughs> oh, so close, but no cigar. <laughs> the hand is quicker than the eye. Is it really Find random, the this ace puzzle? Of spades. Keep your eye on the card. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sorry. Perhaps you need your eyes checked. Want to become famous? <laughs> Buy followers and views on bigfollows.com. Looks like I got, got some spam in the chat. <laughs> Find the ace of spades. Well, Keep I don't want bot followers. I want card. real followers. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, we found it! Yay! Congratulations! One third chance of getting it right. You've beat the magician. Don't forget to collect your, your winning! Your audience will <laughs> be dazzled. Okay, this is really cool and very, very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> you can literally cause an explosion in your hand, and this was actually given to people back then. It's a pyrotechnical device and should not be used by children without adult supervision. You can literally cause an explosion in your hand. I think it breaks after this. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. <laughs> I remember that creeped me out growing up. I remember that little scene creeped the hell out of me growing up. It's so creepy. It's so creepy. All right. And then here we are at the next puzzle. I don't remember how to solve this. Do they all have to be the same? I think that you have to check which one has all the same later. Are you sure? They all have spades. I mean, I opened it. <laughs> I opened it with process of elimination. Oh my god, this puzzle reminds me of the puzzle from, um... You can do it now. I mean, I did it by process of elimination. I didn't do it by any other reason. <laughs> I can figure out what. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I solved it before I was supposed to. But I didn't, I didn't know. I just solved it. Let me go talk to Brady, though. We haven't talked to Brady yet. There's Brady. Need any help? He's tall. I love this puzzle. It's so pretty. Oh, it's a great puzzle. Who's this Simone? And how do you know her? Blasphemy. Simone Mueller, <laughs> CEO of my life. Uh, I mean, my agent. Focus on being wholesomely smoldering. Okay, I think we got a love triangle in this game because so I do. She's been we got, a we got him and the then we got Nick. Room. Haven't you Toll heard boy. her snarling at people on the phone? <laughs> Why are you so interested in helping me? Well, Maya was kidnapped from my dressing room, after all. I just can't help thinking maybe they meant to kidnap me. How do you Possible. keep up with all of your fans, Brady? A big star like you must get hundreds of emails. Hundreds? Try thousands. All my <laughs> email go through Simone. She reads it, she writes back. Control issues, you know? Off the record? Any message that says love Brady is just a big electronic smooch from her. 
Do you mind if I take a look around in Please. here? Be my guest. Be my guest. Be my guest. Oh my god. I'm asking everyone, where were you when the kidnapping happened? Me? You think I kidnapped Maya and then breezed in here just four minutes later? Where would I hide her? In my back pocket? Hmm. Somewhere. <laughs> okay, where, where were you? Okay, where okay, were you? Okay, but where were you? I, well, I was late getting back from a haircut. I, uh, this is hard for me. I think my hairline might be receding. <laughs> it's miserable. Simone's gonna go through the roof. Talk to you later, <laughs> what? Brady. Bye. Brady is too dumb for crime. Yeah, I mean, he's too concerned about his receding hairline. <laughs> that was a really funny conversation. <laughs> I think my hairline is receding. <laughs> okay, we should probably go call about the blueprints for the building. The Not the 56 screen, all the original blueprints. So um, I'm going to warp speed my way to the phone call room. I have no idea, though, where the phone number to is. To it is. Uh, no, no, no. I think it's this one. But I could be wrong. Um, no, I think that was it. Okay, let me write this down. Or just take a picture of it. One, two, oh, six, five, 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 eight, seven, two, six. We got this. We're calling the company that's going to give us the map we need for the theater. What just happened? It just keeps ringing. <laughs> Seven. Oh, no, no, no. I'll try this one instead. Wrong number. Will this work? We're sorry. Your Damn call it. cannot be completed as done. One, two, zero, six, five, 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 eight, seven, two, six. Yeah, it's not letting me do it. Maybe... Hmm. Do we not have the right number? Because, like, it... Oh, no, wait, wait. Close the door. Let's see. The one time I want the door closed. It's not the Palladium. It's not the police department. It's not city garbage pickup disposal. I was I figured it's this one. 911? You've reached the St. Louis Police Department. This is a non-emergency line. Yeah, no, we uh, we already called 911. Candy girl, not yet. <clears throat> you can get it later. Oh, okay. Well, we talked to all the suspects. So my question is, where do we go now? Oh, we can go solve the puzzle in the basement. I'm not exactly sure where else to go right now. Other than going to the basement to solve that puzzle. Um, that's the only puzzle that I know of, at least. Okay, let's go down to the basement. And see if we can solve that jigsaw puzzle. Okay, so for this one, we can rotate the pieces, too. But to rotate, you have to do that. Okay, um... That's not it. That seems right. That's her neck. That's her head. That looks like her hair. Which goes here. That's part of her hair, so that would go here. That's good. 
that goes here because it's part of her hair. This probably goes somewhere over here, maybe? Maybe. I think. No, that doesn't seem right. It's going downwards. No, that looks right. Um... Hmm. No, what that looks right though. This looks wrong, actually. Something seems off about it. Um. Well, I think that I'm thinking, um, well, this piece probably goes here. No, it doesn't. No. Um, oh, her hair wraps around. That makes sense. Okay, so I was going to say, I'm like, why is it not matching? Okay. There, okay, cool. I wonder if this goes here. No, it does not go there. Um, I'm wondering, I wonder if this piece goes here. Yeah, it does. Okay. And then does this piece go here, maybe? No, oh, we're getting close though. And then this piece probably goes there on the corner to finish it off. We got it, sweet. And we just so happen to have the gears. Sweet, we, we're getting further. All right, so we found a key, and we got a paper. <laughs> Triple Sun Dog, hello! This is dated the 21st of March, 1925, 1330 Washington Avenue, St. Louis, Missouri. All right, well, I'll do my narrator voice. Dear Mr. Houdini, congratulations on your latest unbelievable fate! Never have I seen the crowd at the Royal Palladium so enthralled by a performer. Stupendous! Honestly, I was assured that the watery grave was inescapable, even for a master such as yourself. Really, if I had any notion of risking my money, I might not have offered such a, a grandiose of a reward. After all, what man is capable... Wait, what man is made of money? Isn't that right, Mr. Houdini? My point is, well, I must admit that my cash flow is a little tight at the moment. More specifically, I do not have $50,000 available to give you at this time. The theater is young, but bound for glory. I'm sure you'll agree. And my bank account is still recovering from the building expenses. I'm sure you understand, sir. <laughs> you missed your calling as a radio <laughs> vocalist. However... This letter is an announcement of golden opportunity, Mr. Houdini, not one of gloomy regrets. In lieu of cash, and in accordance with my lawyer's counsel, I am prepared to offer you a reward far more valuable than cash. I would like to make you my business partner by transferring 50% ownership of the Royal Palladium Theater into your name. Just think of it. Together we can make the Royal Palladium the foremost venue in the world for magic. Stupendous! Certainly a man as brilliant and worldly as yourself will recognize this as an irresistible offer and realize that there is no need to squabble over the petty details of your reward or invite the press to make a mountain out of a molehill in this affair. 
please sign below and return this document to me if you agree to proceed with the transfer of 50% ownership of the theater into your name. In so doing, you will also be agreeing not to sue me or publicly define my name. A detailed contract will follow. Stupendous. <laughs> I am looking forward to a mutually rewarding relationship with you, Mr. Houdini. Sincerely, J.J. Thompson. <laughs> and then, like in the fine print, I, J.J. Thompson, do I hear greed to transfer 50,000 ownership of the Royal Plenum Theater into Harry Houdini's name in lieu of each reward for his... Okay, I'm done. <laughs> if leading the witness was a letter. <laughs> That's funny. Harry Houdini signed it. He actually signed this agreement. Uh, wow, it's crazy. So Harry Houdini then ha owns 50% of the theater. And then J.J. Thompson also owns 50% of the theater. That is funny. He, he probably should have just, like, agreed to, like, an annuity or something instead. Like, I don't have the money now, but I can give you, like, an annuity or something. Like, but yeah, interesting. Very interesting. Very sus. Go show Nick. Go show Nick. No, we're Nancy Drew, and we're going to keep it in there. We're going to keep it in the safe. <laughs> Nicky boy, I got a date planned for you. Wasn't there something else in here in this theater? I thought... I guess not. Nicky boy, we got something for you. Nicky boy! <laughs> Okay, let's go find him. Oh, nope, 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 nope. But we knew we do need this though. We, we so we did come here for good reason. I forgot we needed that. <laughs> so totally forgot we needed the quarter. Um, completely forgot about that. Okay, I wonder if those are like actors they put in the game, or if those are like pictures they took of real people. Okay, Nick. How goes the search? All right. I found some of JJ's personal documents inside a secret panel in the basement. Well, don't just stand there. Start breaking it down. <laughs> Did you ever hear about a challenge that JJ Thompson issued to Harry Houdini back in 1925? Yeah, and? Um, ooh, camo. I know, right? Nick is our new boyfriend, by the way. Um, JJ put up a big reward for this Houdini challenge. He must have thought the escape was impossible, but Houdini did it, and JJ didn't have the reward money. What does this have to do with the ownership of the theater? Um... Maybe Houdini wanted to teach JJ a lesson for promising I don't think it matters what you picked deliver. in this game, by the way. In any case, Harry Houdini was 50% owner of this place. Ha! Serves that swindler JJ right. Nancy, do you realize what this means? Enlighten me. <laughs> Does it Thompson mean we can finally go on a date? Place, <laughs> then whoever inherited it from Thompson doesn't legally own the whole place either. Someone in Houdini's family may be able to call this demolition off. We've got to find out what happened to his half of the ownership. You keep looking for Maya. I've got a laptop out in my van. I'll get online and do some research. Check back soon. Catch you later. Fight the power. Flying monkeys? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a very interesting. So apparently, so the plot twist that we just discovered is that um, JJ, Miss Joseph, wait till you see this. Come to the projection room. Okay, well Joe is talking to us and he wants us to go to the projection room, so let's go talk to him. What's up, Joe? What do you need? Watch out there, Nancy. That projector's crumbling like a prehistoric cookie. Oh my god, I... There Nancy, go. take a look at this. Oh no, it's Maya's press pass! Oh my gosh, <laughs> Maya's press pass! Oh no! Brady, Brady where did where, where did Brady find it? This should be enough evidence to get the police over here, don't you think? I should think so. Give the police a call. And then you better go back to your hotel and get some rest. Like <laughs> Nancy's like, gosh, I am exhausted. <laughs> Just when I have a lead? No way! I've got to keep searching. You won't be any help to my if you get too tired to think. Well, <laughs> I guess true. you Joe's have a right. point there. Go Joe's ahead right. and use the phone in the ticket booth. I'll be down in a minute. 
So we're we actually I'm surprised I'm shocked that we actually got past the first day in this game pretty fast. We've already finished the first day. All right, let's continue. Let's call the police and get them over here. We're calling the police now. St. Louis Police Department. Missing persons unit, please. Nancy's a professional please now. She's like, missing persons, missing persons please. <laughs> Hi, Sergeant Ramsey. This is Nancy Drew. I spoke to you earlier today about the disappearance of my friend, Maya Wen. Hello, Mr. New Jin. <laughs> You're calling to tell me that you found I always pronounce it wrong. I wish that were true, sir. No. 23 Ski Doo Drew is now following. Welcome. Grazie. Welcome to the Italian Gamer Joe community. Someone else here Thank you. Thank you very much for following. It was clipped I like your username, by the way. She went into the dressing room. It must have been torn off when she was kidnapped. Or it fell off. Or she just tossed it. Maya is very serious about her work, Sergeant Ramsey. She never goes anywhere without that pass. And she would not willingly leave it behind. <laughs> no. Was anything disturbed in the area where it was found? I don't know. I'm not the Do one Do you even know where you found the pass from? Okay, well, thanks for checking in, Miss Drew. If Maya hasn't turned up by tomorrow, we'll definitely be out to By tomorrow. Someone will take a look at the press pass then. Okay. But you said that if I found evidence, you'd investigate the theater today. I'm sorry, Miss Drew, but we can't go chasing after every kid who decides to take a leave of absence. The vast majority of missing juveniles disappear of their own accord, and they reappear. I mean, we literally though heard Maya scream at the top me. of her lungs. Maya would never play this kind of game. Nicholas Falcone said he thinks somebody is using her to make a statement. Nicholas Falcone? Is he involved in this? Are you involved with him? Habit is demonstrating against <laughs> I the I wish, officer. I wish the I was involved with Nicholas. Nicholas has set up shop in <laughs> He's the got lobby. quite the big banana. I've spoken to him. I'm not involved with him. Are you aware of the allegations <laughs> against Mr. Falcone's character, Mr. Drew? Allegations? allegations? Oh, getting hot. Nick Tell me more. He'll do just about anything to save a theater, and he's not afraid to use extreme tactics. Oh, tell me more, officer. What kind of extreme tactics? You name it. Vandalism, sabotage, chaining himself to demolition. Got ourselves a bad boy Is here. That right. <laughs> and last year there was a situation over in Nashville, just when the oldest theater in the city is about to be torn down. And oh, officer, you, keep telling me. Full force, <laughs> a girl goes missing. So happens she's the daughter of the demolition boss. They go crazy looking for her. There's a call, just like the one you described. Anyway, to make a long story short, the demolition is called off. And three weeks later, the girl is seen snuggling up to Falcone in a Memphis Ooh. coffee shop. Are you suggesting Nicholas is staging this thing? I'm just saying that there's more to situations like these than meets the eye. Nick Falcone is a real It's like Nicholas Falcone's got more than one side on check. Like <laughs> we don't know, though, for sure. We don't know for sure. So you aren't gonna have any we are not a snack. We are a detective, and we are the main record? course. Oh, minor stuff. Disorderly conduct, trespassing, yada, yada, yada. But Nick Falcone can slime his way out of a sticky situation like no one I've Mickey ever is seen. a flirt, I see. Unfortunately, there's no jail sentence for being a royal pain in the neck. There are no good <laughs> citizenship awards for it either. Look, I know you're worried, but for now, there's nothing we can do. And there's nothing you can do either. Why don't you go home and get some rest? I'm sure you've had a long day. Well, this has been very informative, Sergeant Ramsey. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night, Miss Drew. Well... It's very interesting. We definitely... A lot definitely happened. I heard the whole thing, Nancy. Interesting. Go get some sleep. I'll keep an eye on things till morning. Wow. Holy crap! And they're all wearing Haddit shirts. That's... That was... Those are Nick's crew. That, that, that's all Nick's, like... Uh, they're, they're, they're protesting the demolition. What the hell is that? Do you know what that is? That's a, that's a wreath for funerals. People buy those for funerals. Deepest sympathy? Planning a funeral is such a dreadful pain. Wouldn't you rather just stop the demolition? <gasps> oh my god! That is fucked up. Someone, someone ordered a wreath for Maya. Oh my god. That is... That is messed up. And Nick is nowhere to be seen. Oh my god. That is messed up. Well, well then. This kidnapper means business. I mean, if they're willing to put, if they're willing to call in a freaking wreath. Oh, this is scary. This is getting dark. 
All right, well, I passed the one hour mark, so um, I think I'm going to end stream for tonight. For those of you that are here, welcome and thank you for checking out the Italian Gamer Joe community. Uh, I do Nancy Drew streams um, every other day, so today's Wednesday. I'll be doing my next Nancy Drew stream on Friday, and we will continue where we left off. Uh, be sure to follow my Discord community. You're only getting half the fun if you uh, only watch my streams and don't follow the Discord community. So if you're on Twitch on your phone, feel free to tap the Discord link. If you're on desktop, then also check out the Discord link that way. Um, we're a very like small community, but we're growing, and we're also a very inclusive place. We geek out about Nancy Drew games. Uh, we also have like a coding area where we just like, geek out and learn how to code. We have a fitness go challenge going on here. One of our community members introduced an app to us called, I think it's called si or Stride. Let me check real quick. Um, it is called Stride Kick. And we currently have an Italian Gamer Joe uh, challenge where if you join, the, if you sign up for the app and you join our like community on there we're trying to get 100,000 steps in for this month so if you go in the discord community and you download the app stride kick you can help us get 100,000 steps in as the italian gamer joe community uh what i'm trying to do is make the italian gamer joe like not just a twitch stream but also like a community where we have like people that want to code people that want to get fit in shape um, might even start like a book club soon or something. Um, I want this to be like a very inclusive, fun place that we have a lot of activities going on. But anyway, um, I want to thank you all for being here. I want to thank you all for supporting my content and supporting my streams. Thanks again, 23 Skidoo Drew for following me. Um, and thank you to everybody that's returning tonight that was here to watch me for this content.